Hello, John, and welcome to Only 5 Minutes. Thank you for having me. John, the Inflation Reduction Act is set to make climate history. Has Sonova already noticed its first effects? Uh, it was a big piece of legislation. It really changed the energy business and gave us as an energy policy for the first time, arguably, in the United States since World War II. Uh, but we have not felt the effects just yet. Uh, the uh, capital markets that, that provide the capital to grow, both in the equity and debt side, haven't quite realized what, what a nice, stable runway this has given to us, measured in 10 years or more. Secondly, uh, it's going to take a while to build the factories that are incentivized you know, to be built here in the United States to make panels, inverters, and batteries, and so forth. But we're going to have that impact, and it's going to cause, in our opinion, lower uh, equipment prices. Uh, and then third, uh, we have not received the Treasury guidance for the additional ITC adders to really incent more demand, uh, but we do expect them. We've started to see a little bit of a shift uh, increase in, in demand there in anticipation. We price a little bit in. Uh, as far as the additional uh, investment tax credits, but we feel that that won't uh, show up in terms of an impact till later on this year when Treasury gives uh, gives guidance. What changes are we seeing on the demand side in terms of solar and storage? Yeah, demand continues to be quite strong. Uh, we see utility prices, monopoly uh, power prices, uh, both in the U.S. and Europe, uh, continue to move um, upwards, and and that is basically causing. Uh, customers to come to us and want to sign up for essentially uh, a better energy service at a better price. Reliability continues to deteriorate some areas of the country faster than others, and that is pushing customers, especially those who you know work from home, et cetera, pushing them uh, to to come to us in an increasing fashion. And that means that they want the storage, the batteries, as you just referred to. So. Yes, we're seeing a lot of interest and a growing amount of interest in, in our service. Speaking of distributed energy resources, what's the next frontier there? Very quickly, moving from a product sale, which is panels on the roof that you know essentially just had a net meter construct where you swung off the utility system. So you give the utility power for free during the day, you take it back for free at night. That's fundamentally changing. And as consumers demand more reliability anyways, they need the battery and the and combination with maybe generator or fuel cell software to manage the loads. Uh, and so that's filling in, becoming much more of a service sale. So how do I sell you power for 8,760 hours in a year? That's the number of hours in a year. And do so at the cheapest uh, price per month. I mean, that that basically is what consumers want. There's, they don't want to look at the power going around in their home and their phone and all that other stuff that people talk about. It's really more about how do I have cheap, uh, more reliable power that I can depend on and uh, I can also use for my home and my car. That's what they want. And so that trend is very different and that's causing uh, a lot of demand from consumers for companies like ours, which are service providers, that when something goes wrong, it's when, not if, we're out there very quickly getting it fixed, getting it back and the power flowing again. Sonova is seeking to become a micro utility in California. Can you tell us more about this? Still waiting on a formal response from the California Public Utility Commission. Uh, we strongly uh, you know, would uh, suggest that we at least have a, a discussion about this, an open, an open discussion about you know, something that we feel very strongly can deliver a better energy service at a better price to the people of California, that particular uh, master plan community. Uh, and and others and many others feel very strongly that it, we can as well. So let's have a discussion about it. Certainly, the cost of the monopolies in California is out of control, um, and there's no end in sight to this. The new uh, net metered uh, you know decision that was made in December by the California Public Utility Commission certainly doesn't go in the right direction for reducing uh, the people of California's power bills. So we have a different idea. We believe that uh, consumer choice is a big part of this and is necessary to bring those power bills down. And we'd like to be able to have uh, the people of California choose who their power provider is. And we uh, can do a better job of providing that reliability that the it's clear that the utilities have an, a total inability to provide. So this will be a precedent in California's electric utility sector, and you will appear as a direct competitor to the incumbents. And so we're saying, hey, we can do a better job. We can create our own utility. Now, is that new? No, that is how this industry got started. There was just a 
bargain made literally a hundred and uh, years ago uh, it said hey we're going to uh, regulate you to have one wire go to one home but we're going to guarantee your rate of return uh, for that so it was a trade and that trade worked we can argue about that but you know i, I i'd strenuously argue that it never worked but some people could say well it worked for 100 years but the technology shift of solar and storage and and software means that that, tech, that that bargain doesn't work anymore. And what we're saying to the state of California is you have it within your code to allow us to operate that way, to be more efficient and more reliable for consumers. Please allow us to do that. So your microgrid model is already working well in Puerto Rico, where the grid is fragile and often in trouble. So we had the, you know, Fiona, Hurricane Fiona hit Puerto Rico uh, and then and it went into uh, Florida uh, and we had customers affected in both. And, you know, for, for at least a week, uh, 32,000 of our roughly 40 some odd thousand customers were running only on Sonova service. The, the prep of the utility was unable to provide power. Our time is up. Thank you, John. Thank you.